2019 was an exciting year for Chesterfield County. We connected with residents, helped build a safer community, explored our history, brought exciting sporting events to the county, and so much more. Everything we do is about improving your quality of life. And it's all part of our plan, Blueprint Chesterfield. Blueprint Chesterfield is a strategic plan designed to cement Chesterfield as an extraordinary, innovative community to live, learn, work, and play. As part of this plan, we have six goals. Here's how we've achieved them in the past year. Chesterfield County is truly committed to public service. We do this by being fiscally responsible and using our resources wisely. In fact, our fiscal year 2020 budget dedicated 76% of resources to public safety, education, and infrastructure. And part of this infrastructure is our amazing team at Fleet Services. In 2019, they were recognized with three national awards. We also launched a new county website to make it easier for residents to stay up to date and access all the resources we have to offer. Our new Connect With Us page has all the information residents need to contact us and stay involved. Everyday excellence also means helping Chesterfield citizens who need it most. Our new Access On Demand program launched in spring 2019. It offers senior, disabled, and low-income residents same-day, door-to-door transportation services. Having a great community also means having a safe community. Chesterfield doesn't take that for granted. That's why we work with community members to make Chesterfield an even safer place to live. Police officers are vital difference makers in our community, so in 2019 we placed an emphasis on recruiting to bring the best future officers to our police force. But our focus this year wasn't just about hiring officers, it was about fostering the relationship between our first responders and the community to keep Chesterfield safe and secure. National Night Out brought our first responders and residents together for food, music, and more as we strengthened our police community relationship. Another exciting event that happened this year was the first ever Community Cup Soccer Tournament, which paired first responders from across Central Virginia with residents of our multicultural communities. This year, the Child Advocacy Center, a safe place for victims of abuse to have their stories heard, was dedicated to retired Judge Bonnie C. Davis. The Davis Child Advocacy Center serves as a regional resource. Community engagement is key to promoting trust and transparency. That's why we began My Chesterfield Academy in 2019 to empower our multicultural community members to understand how our government operates. This academy is one of many that allows our residents to learn about the work we do. Our county's outreach includes those with disabilities, as this year, our Public Safety and General Services departments teamed up with Growth Through Opportunity to create a 16-week academy that provides adults with disabilities an opportunity to gain valuable life skills and social experience. A strong community means an inclusive economy that benefits citizens and businesses alike. That's why we are committed to growing our business community and providing high quality jobs and economic advancement to our residents. In October, we celebrated the opening of MPREG's new 40,000 square foot manufacturing facility in the Airport Industrial Park. And we committed to several more business partnerships this past year. As Cartograph, we'll be bringing 63 new jobs to Chesterfield with a new facility in the Meadowville Technology Park and Carvana will build a $40 million inspection and processing center along I-95. Shamin Hotels also announced they will invest about $125 million in new Chesterfield projects, including a full-service hotel and conference center at Stonebridge. And after years of hard work by local groups, voters, and boards of supervisors, we broke ground on the 22,000 square foot Baxter Perkinson Center for Arts, Education, and Community in Chester Village Green. 
In 2019, Chesterfield grew its reputation as a hotspot of sports tourism. Swimmers from 41 nations, including Olympic medalists, raced at the Swim RVA Tier Pro Swim Series meet. And over at the River City Sportsplex, spikeball professionals from across the country competed in the Spikeball National Championship. Here in Chesterfield County, we know that promoting active, healthy lifestyles is key to improving the quality of life of our residents. This year, we opened several new facilities that make it easy for community members to stay active. A new nature-themed playground at R. Garland Dodd Park provides children an opportunity to learn while they play. In May, after working with the Chesterfield Pickleball Association, we held a ribbon cutting ceremony for a new 12-quart pickleball facility. Not to be forgotten, our furry friends can now get their exercise at the Chester Dog Park at Goyne Park. But promoting healthy living in our community also means promoting drug education and prevention. In February, along with Hanover, Henrico, and the City of Richmond, Chesterfield launched OpioidSolutionsRVA.com to educate citizens on the dangers of opioid use and provide those struggling with addiction with the resources they need. Chesterfield is only as strong as its unique communities, natural resources and infrastructure. That's why in 2019, we worked hard to celebrate, strengthen, and improve all the areas that make Chesterfield County great. In May, we partnered with the Richmond Symphony and Chesterfield Chamber of Commerce to host the first ever Chesterfield Live. This free, family-friendly music festival had food, activities, and performances by four premier musical acts. We also recognized our own history this year as 2019 marked the 400th anniversary of the first iron furnace built in the English New World, Chesterfield's Falling Creek Ironworks. In Chesterfield, we are committed to developing communities that meet the current and future needs of our citizens. The Jefferson Davis Special Area Plan is moving forward to ensure residents have the infrastructure they need to thrive. Many residents don't realize that Chesterfield has three water sources, the James River, Lake Chesden, and Swift Creek Reservoir. But this year, we began exploring a fourth water source, the Appomattox River, and we began the process of creating a new water treatment facility. In September, we celebrated the Maggie Walker Community Land Trust sale of their first rehabilitated residence. This nonprofit helps create affordable home ownership opportunities for low and moderate income households. Chesterfield continues to honor and memorialize its heroes. This year, we recognized with a street renaming ceremony, Air Force Major Charles A. Ransom, a Midlothian High School graduate who was killed in Afghanistan in 2011. We have a unique commitment here in Chesterfield County to lifetime learning. That's because we know that supporting community learning opportunities will sustain a vibrant quality of life for our residents. Making sure our children have access to high quality education is paramount to our work with Chesterfield County Public Schools. This year, they opened two new elementary schools, Enon and Old Hundred. We also broke ground on five more schools, Manchester Middle School, and Matoica, Harrogate, Crestwood, and Ettrick Elementary Schools. One resident in particular epitomized a commitment to lifetime learning. Girl Scout Deja Williams' Gold Award Project was a historic road marker celebrating the historic Midlothian Elementary School, which served African American students from 1946 to 1969, when Chesterfield County desegregated its schools. And in June, we celebrated the opening of the Steps to Success Early Learning Trail in Rockwood Park. Our Parks and Recreation Department worked with United Way and Genworth to create a place for parents and children to learn and play. And there are many other ways to enjoy Chesterfield's natural beauty. To learn about a variety of trees and plants, visit our Arboretum on the Government Complex, which this year received a Level 1 accreditation from ArbNet and the Morton Arboretum. 
2019 was a great year for Chesterfield, and this past decade has brought so many positive changes to the county. But we aren't just looking back. We know that 2020 will mark the beginning of an even stronger decade. We will continue working to provide a first choice community through excellence in public service.